So we talk about this point guard being a point guard. We talk about this point guard being a absolute winner. Uh, he got to the mountaintop, but he did not claim a championship. So how did that being win? Chris winner. Paul. That being Chris Paul, we talk about <laughs> him, you know, getting burnt out late into the playoffs, and it's always an injury here or there. Couldn't get it done with the Rockets. Uh, didn't get it done when they got to the finals. Uh, didn't get it done with the Clippers. Uh, Chris, Paul, here. Chris Paul now has Devin Booker and Kevin Durant. <laughs> There's gonna be a there's gonna be several narratives, right? If they lose, the narrative is is going to be you expect old Chris Paul to da 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 da. I mean, he's still starting. Oh, he's still no excuse. Him great. No so, excuse. He's still not gonna get it done. How how does this affect, if any at all, Chris Paul's basketball legacy if he does not get it done with Chris or if he does not get it done with Devin Booker and Kevin Durant? Do we rehab? I, do we re restructure the conversation? Of top five point guards all the time. I don't. Well, wow, that's what they say. Chris Paul, top five all the time. That's what I'm saying. I don't think you get the name point guard of that if you ain't top five all the time. It's, that is true because I got what Magic, Steph, Isaiah, John. We we really ready to put Chris right there. And we had the conversations about J. Kidd. <laughs> no, I'm not putting them there. Hey, dang. I ain't gonna lie, Chris, but Chris Paul, he gotta be. I'm... Top eight. Top eight. Man, he. That's he another conversation, though, for another day. He definitely he top 10. So I'm not going to find top point guards of all time like the, the reason that's so hard to do because you have different types of point guards traditional so combo. you have your traditional floor general you have a lead combo guard who just plays point right are we talking about the traditional if we just talking about floor general yes he's top five in the traditional sense of point guard leading a team, he's definitely top five. And that I would have Magic. What? John, Isaiah, Chris. You got to just put Steph in there because four-time champion. Best Steph ever. goes either way. You traditional combo. Yeah, he, yeah you, just, you can't not put him really in. He, he really can be two on that list. And that ain't. Is he the true point guard? Hmm. Mm. Is he the real true point no, guard? No, because, and I say no, as great as Steph is, and he's, great, and he's the greatest shooter ever, again, if we're talking about the traditional sense of being a floor general, greatest Steph is, he's never led the league in assists. Never even been top three. I don't think he's ever finished top five. So... Again, be he's a true combo ball, lead make guard budget. playing point <laughs> Who can play make, right? But at his core, Steph Curry is about a bucket, like point blank, period. Yeah, we and didn't he, we didn't get with him. Moves great off ball. Then. Well, what list you you putting put together? Floor general list. Yeah, and he I don't think oh, okay. I don't think yeah, he's he not in there. The, yeah, he, he he's not, not on the floor general list. That's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, I think to a certain degree he's a floor general, me personally. He is. He can operate in a floor general capacity for sure. But, but let's not get we away about top Chris Paul. Right. Is he top if, five? If, they, top if, floor if they don't if they, if they don't win this year or win during the stretch of uh, because I respect the game in terms of having chemistry and maybe being a year and a half. But if, if Chris Paul doesn't win a championship constructed with Devin Booker. And Kevin Durant, does his legacy take a hit in any way, if at all? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I, take, take a hit a little bit because you got to win. Yeah, bro, because no my excuse. five is Jason Kidd. And the reason why it isn't Steve Nash is because Jason Kidd got a title with Dirk. 
Steve Nash got two back to back MVPs, bro. That's tough. Is Steve Nash top 10 all time? No, top five. Why not? Got two. You got it. You uh, can. You can. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. there's the There's answer to the MVP because we all feel some type of way about Kobe and I get. But definitely, Kobe could have got it. Through. He should have got it. First five of an MVP. No. Have a championship. No. One that's you got at least have one of those two things in order to be top five. Like, top five. Period. So Russell was at least one of those two. Or so Stockton not top five. Or, Considered to be or multiple appearances in the finals. I'll give that. That's that's like the final thing. Like you gotta have multiple. You can't just go there once and just make an appearance. You gotta be be like competitive enough. John Stockton can be interchanged with Steve Nash. No, he can't because John Stockton leads the league in all time assists, and that's essentially what being a point guard is about. Exactly. Too heavy. Up no, your team makes, makes is, you can you can switch those two, and Chris Paul still ain't got no room in top five. What you mean, bro? Chris Paul top five in the six. No, I'm talking about top five point guard. He's like number three. I'm saying though, like, okay, so we we got table that because that was a lot of point guard conversation. So we because we don't have a point guard. We don't have a point guard. We should we that's coming soon. 